Hey, what's up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington, but just call me Towboat US today. We got these hey. lovely folks right here. Where's we were, yeah, we were sitting at the office today, and we were supposed to be working, but then, of course, Carson Moser calls me and says the tarpon are blowing up out front of his house. So we turned an editing day into a filming day. As we're riding out, they were out in their little boat. Where are y'all from? We're in Northern Virginia. Washington, D.C., yay. Jackson, Mississippi. Oh my goodness, they were on their little inflatable. And what a lot of people don't realize around here is sometimes you go one way, especially with an electric motor, and you have the current and the wind behind you. Then you turn around, your battery's not as, as strong, and you're going the opposite direction, and nothing wants to work right. So we noticed they were in distress. We picked them up, and uh, lo and behold, they needed to go where we were going. Although we would have taken them wherever they needed to go anyway. So we're gonna drop them off. Let's do it now. <laughs> Love these people. How are you? What's your name? Noah. Hey Noah. How you doing today? Good. Catching any fish? So we literally rescue one family and then we're hanging out with another family and uh I love meeting fans. I love meeting people that enjoy watching the channel. And this little guy right here, when he's waking up and going to bed, he likes to watch deer meat for dinner. And you know what? I think that's super duper cool. Question is, when do you like to watch deer meat for dinner? Is it something you watch like early and late? When do you watch deer meat for dinner? Curious. Oh, they're right over there far. Oh. Definitely got him good. And we got a toady. Have y'all ever seen toadies before? Oh my gosh, we just watched that like three days ago. <laughs> we know exactly. Like Austin's chomping his bit right now, thinking, holy cow. That's what we were looking for. <laughs> he says for now. Look at all the other bait right there. <laughs> that was cool. We met two really awesome families and we have bait and time to go fish. Well, the ocean's kind of rough on the beach right now. It's got a big swell. Try to get out of there and see what happens. Just got anchored up and we've already saw some fish. I believe when you come out like this, get anchored up, get situated, rig your rods and let the fish start to act normal again. You don't want to just rush up here and start pounding them with baits, you know? Let them come back and let them get, let them get, you know, back comfortable. You know what they say, we are ready to go. Pitch him back there. That's not a good place to be if you're a live mullet. This is what you don't want to get trapped on the inside of. And that right there, my friends, is why you gotta be paying attention. So it was really rough offshore, and every time we got close to the beach, it was really dangerous. Look at them all. Oh, see him eat it on the surface there? Just got it right there. Got him. Ugh, come here, boy. Come here! <laughs> Got smoked! Ugh, come on! <sighs> Nailed it up on that flat. Nice snook! 
big snuck. You might ask, why are you using such a big rod when you're fishing around these docks? Catch a lot of big fish, and uh, you got to keep them out of the keep them out of the docks. Fish is right here. That's a cuda. What on earth? Hey, I ain't scared to eat a barracuda now. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I would have bet you a hundred dollars that was a snook. Big old cuda on 60 pound monofilament leader. Look at this. I got him hooked in the eyeball. <laughs> you couldn't do that twice again if you had to. <laughs> Boat flip. Sometimes you gotta be charitable and let one go back. This just ain't that time. He's coming home for dinner. <laughs> So after I put that big barracuda in the cooler, we headed home because I have someone very, very special coming in right now from halfway around the world. Oh my goodness. Look who it is. <laughs> Give me a hug, old boy. You know who this is? This is Mad Max of Rhoda. This old Pete Hook old. my brother. It's so good to see you. How many of y'all know PK? Everyone knows PK. This is PK's parents, Mr. Pete and Miss Bim. They came halfway around the world from the CNMI to come visit us. Come give me a hug, y'all. I love this couple more than you could even imagine. And to have you at my home is such yeah. an honor. I give you a kiss on the face too, boy. Thank you. You're awesome. Let's go. Oh my gosh, look at you, you little spoon. What are you trying to do, push me into the water? Show everybody at home how you do your makeup. Hi. <laughs> I have makeup for now. Hey, Pete. You like fish? Oh, yeah, man. Bimbe. I got a nice fish here. What if I fillet it, can you cook something sashimi. first? Sashimi and rice. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of fish is that? A barracuda. So many people think, no, I don't want to eat barracuda. But I'm telling you right now, Barracuda is some of the best fish out there. I love it. Look at that. Look how nice and white that meat is. Oh, yes, sir. They have a very pronounced like skin it's very tough see that come in right here you're gonna have some pin bones bimbe will this do yeah yeah oh here's what's funny this is all stuff that PK brought here, but I haven't used. So she awesome. just strolls on in and starts checking it out. How can I help you? It's okay. Literally, she's not been in our house for 15 minutes and she's already cooking. You know that's right. Here. So we got a bowl, we got chopped up fish. What's your favorite kind of fish to eat? I like wahoo and uh, mahi mahi and uh, what's that? The mullet, mullet fish. Mullet? Yeah. Yeah. PK loves mullet yeah. too. You got lemon or fresh? Lemon. A little bit of salt. Yeah. Just a little bit. Yeah. Salt then lemon. 
cut the it. The whole half? Not necessary. Just only like half of that. Tell me when. Okay, that's enough. Enough? Just put that the leftover for the next batch. Do you need any garlic or ginger? Yeah. Garlic? Mm, just put, yeah. put ginger and garlic. Tell me when. Um, yeah. More? Yeah. Okay. That's garlic? Mm hmm And ginger. This Oops. is ginger? Mm-hmm. That's good. Oh yeah? That's crazy. I don't know what you would put to make that better. That's it's amazing really how good that is. I I heard that no frog leg is like chicken. Straight from the island of Rhoda. This is called Barracuda Keliquin. Try it. Right. <laughs> oh my god, it's delicious. Isn't that good? So I want you to really taste it and tell me what you think. It really doesn't, doesn't taste like fish at all. Right? I just can't believe it. It is delicious. <laughs> I'm telling I you. I can't believe that. It is so good. It's never been touched by heat. It's a little bit of lime, and whatever I found in the kitchen, she's like, yeah, this, 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 this. Next thing you know, she's got a Bob Ross painting. How are you skinny oh. with her cooking? Hey, Mad Max. Let me oh. see what you think. Yeah. Hey, your wife cooked it, not me. Oh yeah? Yeah, that's good, huh? No, my darling. <laughs> Lucky we come to Rock House and you make me try. <laughs> First time I try with the cookie. Yeah? The cracker, yeah. yeah. It's good with yeah. the cracker, huh? Look at Uncle Pete. He just got all serious all of a sudden. Oh yeah. He saw that red light on the camera and was like, oh my gosh, I better put away my phone and be serious. This whole week's going to be really cool. We got all kinds of fun stuff to do. Nothing is planned. We're just going with it, you know? We'll see what happens. But I appreciate you guys being a part of it. Tomorrow's a new day, and we're going to have fun. Love you guys. Take care. God bless. And we are what?